This is my first Poland vlog in 2023. I had to adjust to the temperature because I was in Ghana only two days before flying to Poland. The picture you're just about to see represents my 2022 all too well. Never-ending flights, which represent saying a lot of goodbyes and hellos. Books, which represent work I enjoy. And a faint smile. So I am back in Poland. And it is beautiful. Snowy. Amazing. I love the snow. It's cold. Very, very cold. So I spent a few days in Szczecin where I went to uni. Szczecin is a city near the German border and Berlin, the capital city of Germany. When I was a university student, many years ago, I spent a lot of time in the house of bread. It's a bakery slash coffee shop. Being there again felt very calming. These dogs seem to like the house of bread too, by the way. I've lived outside Poland for almost two decades now, but still Poland feels like home. As I hinted, I had recently gone through some traumatic experiences and was looking for peace and respite. This time, I found much of that in Poland. This has a lot to do with family. My grandma, my sister, with her little one. The little ones make you feel happier by default, especially when they are happy little ones, like my niece. Other people who helped me smile more boldly were friends whom I hadn't seen for a while, but who make me feel at home whenever I see them. And yes, Polish food. You cannot talk about Poland and not mention the food. It is so good. So we are back in the house of bread. We will have breakfast. We'll do some work and we'll keep it moving. So, people often ask me what it's like being black in Poland or blackish in Poland, if you like. To answer this question, in a nutshell, being black in Poland has never been an issue for me. If you want to know more, check out this video. When I am at coffee shops, while I'm not working, one of my favorite things is to sit by the window and stare at people. When I look at them, I usually imagine the stories they carry. Sometimes these staring sessions inspire the stories I write or used to write because recently I have been spending more time helping others write and publish their stories rather than writing my own, which is fine for now. There is a time for everything. Here I am revamping my email newsletter for writers and aspiring authors. If you're one of them, consider subscribing to my list for occasional writing and publishing tips and tricks. The link is in the description box. And please subscribe to this channel if you like what you see here. Moving on. This is the new year, so it's time for the new me, right? Just joking. Why fix what's not broken, right? <laughs> Conversely, why break what's healthy, Monica? Well, I decided to play with my hair, just a little. Yes, I'm talking about these highlights. This was the first time any dye touched my hair. So naturally, I was very concerned about the outcome. But the hairdresser was lovely and professional. It calmed my nerves. 
Even though she admitted later that she too was a little apprehensive, having had little experience dealing with my type of beauty. But all said and done, although barely noticeable, my highlights are a refreshing touch of newness for the new year. What else can I say about Poland? Well, traditional Polish cuisine comes with a lot of potatoes and meat. I don't eat much meat, but when I'm there, I usually treat myself to an occasional schabowy. This concludes my first Poland vlog in 2023. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more if you like what you see and do check out that video about growing up black in Poland or blackish if you like. <laughs> in my next vlog, we will go to Birmingham in England. I was there this week for the first time and was pleasantly surprised by the city and my discovery that there is English life outside London where I live.